morning, good afternoon and good evening to everybody. Welcome to Star 17's gaming channel. I'm your host Star 17 for another episode of Stoneblock. Here we have episode 7. Now I've got a confession to make. Uh, when I started making this video I recorded a full hour. Uh, or rather, I thought I recorded a full hour. It turns out that a full hour was not recorded, and therefore you have missed the uh, first hour of today's recording. Don't worry too much, though. The only thing you've missed is me clearing up the old mob farm and creating this instead. Um, I wasn't happy with the yield that I was getting from the mob farm, so I thought I'd try a different method. We've got a base level mob farm, which really comprises of a dark room, a small capture zone and an area for me to swish swipe at their knees. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, one of the things I wanted to be able to achieve in today's episode is creating a set of armor. So having a look through the different armor sets, I have an abundance of black quartz. So I thought what I'd do is go for a very stylish black number um, armor set. So I'm going to need crushed black quartz chucked into the furnace to create um, the next component towards it. Uh, in the meantime as well, another thing which has been driving me absolutely crazy is that the stone crafting stations do not let you shift click. So I'm changing this for now for a wooden one and hey presto, I now have a labor saving device where I can shift click all of the items. It automatically drops into the slots. I don't have to manually click and drop it in. And uh, what we'll do here is we'll just do a quick um, smash down of some compressed cobblestone to get some gravel. Um, shift click our way into heaven to create some crushed gravel uh, or compressed gravel there another set of uh, compressed cobblestone here to make more gravel and uh, one two three hyper smasher away and then we get ourselves a buttload of gravel there again um, I thought whilst I wait for the black quartz to, to, to furnace up uh, we'll just do a little bit of um, grinding here specifically placing down some of this gravel Yes, I've sped up the video slightly so you don't have to suffer the burden of watching it in normal speed because there's a lot of this that goes on. Um, we've got a couple of stacks that we're going to place down here. And then with our very special Hyper Smasher, bing bang bong, we've got a heck of a load of dirt. And I've lost the block out of the ground there. Never mind, I'll fill that in with this uh, spare piece of uh, sand that it's, it's created here. So, bonk, bonk and blimp so we're going to compress this dirt into compressed dirt blocks to safely use for later on uh, what i'd like to do is obviously get this all the way down to dust level the reason i'm doing that is because the um the, the benefit yield that you get from sifting the dust means that we will get redstone we will get bone meal um, and more black quartz basically as well as uh, a few other things as well so yeah the whole point of this is to make sure i've got the right materials in order to be able to complete the armor set that i'm looking to make today um i'm a bit nervous actually because i've been rocking around in the skin that i've created for this playthrough the little space space um suit that he's wearing wearing armor is only going to change my appearance so yeah, I'm a little nervous about the outcome here. We're going to end up looking like any old kind of Minecraft adventure, I'm sure. But let's see what it looks like. Um, the major thing is that I've got a lot more protection because when I'm going into fights, um, you know, up in the in the mining dimension and beyond that, I'm going to be looking at doing some boss fights at some point soon. Um, we're not going to be able to defend ourselves. So we need to be able to have that protection there. Cool. Now we've smashed up the, the sand. We've got the dust. We can compress that dust. Hang on, where's the rest of it? That should be f two full stacks. Uh, let's go back over here and have a... There is the rest of it. Didn't quite smash down with a hyper smasher, but uh, there we go. That's the rest of it. Um, anything going on in there? No, nothing yet. No mobs. Why am I not getting any mobs? What's going on? Guys in the comments, if you know what I'm doing wrong, please do let me know. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a professional Minecrafter by any means necessary. But um, I made a mob farm like this in another playthrough and it, it generated mobs fine. So I'm, what, I'm wondering what's going on. Have I put too many slabs in? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, compressing this down into, into two blocks of compressed dirt, we can now stop for a moment. 
take a very healthy pause to eat some monster jerky. Mm, mm, mm. Good old monster jerky going in. Sponsored by Star 17 Gaming. Uh, we'll sift through these, um, or at least one of these stacks of uh, compressed dust just to get all the stuff that we need. Hey, now's a great opportunity, uh, whilst I'm just sifting this through, to go through the likes that we would like to see for the video. So guys, if you can hit that like button on the video there, we're hoping to achieve 50 likes on each episode of this playthrough. Also, if you haven't done so already, click that button at the bottom that says subscribe as well. It's free to you, gives you notifications when the next episode is out, and means a heck of a lot to my growth, my channel, um, gives me a little bit of credence as well that you're enjoying what I'm doing so yeah if you can give me a like and a subscribe sorry for begging um, again like I said we're, we're, we're I'm joining a saturated market within YouTube so you know it like I say it just makes me feel better to see that people are enjoying the video okay cool so taking this black quartz out now that it's been processed we'll shuck some more in there as well uh, pop over to our crafting bench and what can we do with this so we can't make any ingots by the looks of things let's just take that one ah there we go that's there's the chest plate there I mean, it is blacker than black, isn't it, really? It's nice to have a black suit of armor. Not something you generally see in Minecraft, or, or vanilla Minecraft, anyway. Um, let's get the trousers. The pantaloons, as they say in, uh, in, in France. The shoes. Or the sabaton in Spanish. Sabaton, sorry. And the, uh, the helmet. The skid lid, you know, that um, urban fellas of the UK might say instead of a helmet. Okay, so placing on the helmet there, placing on the booties. Looking good so far. Putting on the trumps. Okay, looking very dark. And I've got to take my jetpack off just to put on the chest plate, obviously. So uh, can I stick it anywhere else in the baubles? No, no, no. Oh, I can hold it. I wonder if that lets me use it later on. I mean, it's not a big thing. It just changes my appearance slightly. I'm sad to take it off, but we now have armor protection. Hey, we completed something this episode by uh, getting a nice armor set. So here we are, donning the new armor. What do you guys think? Here I am holding my sword. Swish, swish. Swish, swish. Swish indeed. Looking at it from the right. Looking at it from the left. Looking at it from the right again. And from straight underneath. And straight down the top. Okay. What do you guys think of the new armor set? Like I say, black quartz provides me toughness, I think, plus six. So um, it's stronger than iron. Yeah, this still isn't working. I'm not happy with this at all. Let's see what happens if I raise the roof a little bit. Uh, maybe if we create more of a dark spot, more of a, a, a mass or space for, uh, for mobs to spawn in. That might hurry things along a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're probably about an hour into gameplay. I've not seen one mob generate yet, which which concerns me. You might be thinking as well, did I close off the area that I was originally grinding mobs? Yes, I did. Every single block was filled. I guarantee you that. Every single little block. So there's absolutely no way they could still be generating up there because there's just no space for them to do so. Um, and I think you can see that from the map as well. There is no kind of created... Because usually even when I mine out a certain area... Uh, you'll see kind of an impression on the map where where it is but um, yeah frustrating again if you guys know let me know okay I think now another thing that I want to do for this episode is I want to travel to the end um, traveling to the end dimension is one of the quest markers that we need to complete so I'm gonna peg it on up to the mining dimension um, and then from there we'll start building another 250 blocks high to get to the end and that's what we need to do for that quest marker as well we're fully tooled up we've got some food uh, here's the mining dimension for those who've forgotten what it looks like I think we'll take this little spot here and I'm going to use my trusty osmium hammer to smash our way up I've sped this up a little bit so you don't have to again go through the burden of watching me do it in normal speed because that might be a little bit boring for you and I'll cut and splice certain bits that have zero importance um, as we go, but I'm getting XP using the Osmian Hammer, which is pretty cool. 
Um, little bits of XP go a long way, you know, especially later on when we get to start enchanting things. This armor's going to need enchanting at some point. So, yeah, we're just uh, XP in the bank, basically, as well as the, um, you know, the little little blocks of experience that we've been getting from the mobs. I've been saving those two. So they're all going to come in handy for later. And what is this? What is this I'm unearthing in front of me? It's a indoor biome with grass. Um, yeah, an in indoor kind of outdoor, indoor outdoor biome. An underground indoor outdoor biome, everybody. There's one tree, two trees in the middle of this. We've got some crystals growing on the walls. That's a nice little space. Untouched by mobs. Untarnished by any organism, really. It's just a living biome. And here I am, smashing the trees down. I think what I'll do is I'll save this maybe for later. Maybe this could be a cool place to start growing trees instead of back downstairs in our in our base location maybe i can have a living farm up here maybe i can build another little uh, rest spot a nice little home home away from home as they say um you know a proper building to live in as opposed to a big open space down inside the bottom of a of an open cave um we'll see i'm not i'm not uh, i'm not completely sold on exactly what i'm going to do with this yet but i'm going to keep it i'm going to i'm not going to muck around with it too much it's a nice little change from rock to, to, to grass basically um, maybe this might be a really cool spot to do the uh, botany um, quest lines because there is a, a bunch of quests a bit later on to do all of the botanics questing which uh, will require lots of growing of flowers and plants and petals and things like that anyway continuing our pursuit up 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 the ziggurat um, we are at Level 94, is that? 95, 96, 7, 8. Oh wait, no, now we're, now we're in the 90s. So we've, we've, got a, we've got a bit of a, a, an ascent to climb. Um, do we do? It's great having these, uh, these tools now that we've you know, invested the time in creating them. It's making the work a lot easier, a lot quicker specifically we'll just uh, light this area up here to so stop the mobs from spawning in um but yeah carrying on up moving on up we're moving on out time to break free nothing can stop me yeah yeah you've noticed as well that i'll keep going straight until i hit something which is complicated and what I mean by complicated is gravel or, or dirt. Basically, anything I have to change tool on, um, I'll keep going up until that point. And then when I hit that, I'll just turn direction and, and carry on up. Carry on up with, um, you know, with the trusty hammer um, in a different direction there. Also, just um, stop a moment just to empty my inventory a little bit. You know, all this... Um, strip mining basically really fills up your pockets quite quickly i'm going to need to invest at some point in some backpacks uh, i think i'm going to need some leather for that so a bit later on when we start getting things in like cows and horses and are able to to generate leather i'll be able to make some backpacks and things um, maybe we'll look into into that in one of the future episodes see what we actually need because you know you can sometimes do this with other materials too um but yeah we're getting through the quests for the kind of the base of stone block here um I think beyond the end, there's a few things around creating voodoo dolls, and then there's a couple of bosses that we need to smite, specifically up in the end as well. Um, and then that pretty much kind of finishes up things from this quest book itself. After that, there's there's bunches of other quests that we need to be doing around storage, around um, kind of animal growth, chicken growth, um, the botanics I mentioned earlier on today as well. <clears throat> and I think some aspects of kind of machinery and automation as well. So it's definitely going to be plenty to keep us going uh, in the future. But uh, yeah, one of the major things I, I need for one of the, the quest lines specifically, um, there's an Inferium one where, you know, you're, 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 you're making an, an incredible you know, amount of Inferium. Oh, we've got a skeleton. Let's uh, smite him real quickly. Uh, yeah, so you create an incredible amount of Inferium to create something else, create something else, create something else, and then eventually you've, you've made this really top-tier material um, 
you know, through the use of Inferium, basically. So everything that you get from, from disposing of mobs. I think also you can mine Inferium. I found a couple of blocks of, Inf of Inferium as we've been making this uh, this tunnel here. So I need to go and fix my tools. So we will dash on back, back down to the base, base level, base station, uh, to fix the, uh, the Osmium pick here. And I'll take you on a quick jaunt down as we go. Here's our little base level. And further down, we get back to base. I'll speed it back up again. So we're reclimbing back up again. So you get to watch me leave. You get to watch me re-enter, which is, I guess, is just, just amazing for you guys. Okay, we're in the 40s now. Let's keep on pushing. Here we are at our living biome here. Um, hello again. Nothing's grown or nothing's appeared since we've been gone, so that's good. Um, yeah, I think that'd be a nice little spot there to start growing things. Just mark that with a torch and carry on up. Moving on up, we're moving on out. Time to break free. Nothing can stop me. Except for breaking tools, obviously. So, um, who sang that song? Was that the M people? I have a funny feeling it might have been. Do you remember it has a uh, a wonderful sax solo in the middle of it? Songs of my youth, what can I say? All right, carrying on, moving on, ascending, climbing, elevating, transporting, no, too much, too much of a stretch, that one. Um, I should have uh, sped this frame up, to be brutally honest with you. Saved us all the boredom of uh, watching it in, in, in standard speed, but uh, it's too late for that now. I've been talking all over it, so um, here we go. We're back to where we were. What we'll also do, stuff, shove some, shove some, stick some um, coal in the furnace. We've got it for later if we need it, of course. Um, make a few more torches because, um, yeah, lighting up this mother is important. Uh, so we don't have mobs joining us for the journey, basically. So back up we go and back up into times two speed. Or is this times three speed? I think it's times three, actually. As we, uh, we carry on towards the end dimension not sure what to expect from the end dimension um i don't think it's as um prescriptive as what we know from vanilla minecraft where getting to the end is a is a place to go and fight the dragon and then beyond that a place to go and find the um the end cities and get the elytra the shulker boxes etc etc i think in this it's another kind of biome where you can just find those materials specifically so um yeah we'll, we'll see what we do i think later on with the whole ender dragon battle maybe that's done differently um maybe we spawn in the dragon you know somehow but um again i'm, I'm braving this adventure with a clean set of eyes to some extent um I do have a, a playthrough I'm running parallel to this, but we're, we're pretty much at the same level. So it's not like one is further than the other. Uh, getting different drops and different things are certainly happening. But for the most part, they're at a, a level key with the main quest line. So uh, nothing's been spoiled for me yet. Okay, so we're in the 200s now. So we're not far away from the, um, the biome switching and, and shifting. Um, so let's just smack out a few of these blocks up in here. A bit more up. What are we on now? 2, 18 is that? 17, 18, 19. So 220. Yeah, 221. So just another 30 more blocks up. Not far for you guys to, to, to wait now. I guarantee you some action at the end of this video. 100%. You're going to love it. Okay, here we go, 241. So we are very close now to, to switching biomes. Uh, we'll just do a little kind of uh, change in direction there for the stair stairwell. 
bash out these blocks. Three, two, one, and up we go. Up, up, up we go until the tunnel. Name that film, everybody. The end, but not really. Quest completed. So here we are. We're in the end dimension or the the, the end biome now. Uh, let's light this mother up a little bit so we can see what's going on. Bing bong and a bang. And then we will climb in this direction, I think. And we'll just have a little peek around see what we can see. I know there's no, or maybe I don't know, but I don't think there's any biome ahead of this one or above this one. I've not seen a quest marker to go beyond the end. So we'll just bash up a little ways. Um, and I think from there what we'll do is we'll create kind of like a like an open area to, to do things up here specifically to mine things up here and just see what's about I'm not seeing anything coming up on the mini map um, unlike the mining dimension where you can see all the little chasms and the little caves and the biomes and the ores and the mobs you know popping up on the on the screen there I'm not seeing anything here at all at the moment so yeah, like I say, I really don't think there's there's much out here, but we'll build and bash out a kind of a, a, a larger space here. And we'll go up in this direction. Maybe we'll get up to about 50, call it there if we've not seen anything along the way, and make our way back down. Uh, how are you guys enjoying Stoneblock? Um, are you still enjoying it? Let me know in the comments. Love to get some feedback from you specifically. Um, very interesting principle, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so we've, we've come across something resonant end stone. So there's two different blocks we've seen now end stone and resident end, resonant end stone. Interestingly, when you smack that, some juice comes out. Looks like water. Maybe we'll come up here with a bucket at some point, see if we can slurp some up. See if it is classified as water or if it's uh, some other liquid that we might need for, for some crafting later. Um, but uh, what we'll do is just uh, get rid of all of this. Get all of this resonant end stone. That might come in handy for later as well. Um, be careful it doesn't drown us. Be careful it doesn't shove us into the walls. Like that. It's always scary when that happens. You're like, What the heck is going on here? Where am I? Why can't I breathe? Why am I dying? Panic. Okay, we've definitely filled up our inventory again, so we're going to need to uh, do something about that. And watch that water travel all the way down those steps, which is fun. Okay, a couple of treasure boxes here. Let's get rid of all this cobble. We've got so much cobble now. Plus with the cobblestone generator, pumping out at diamond level, down at base level. Cobblestone is not a problem for us. We could we could build our own stone block if we wanted to. Infinite cobblestones. Alright, so we've managed to get out all of the resident stone from in here. I'll just let my um, OCD kick in a second whilst I just make the room a little bit more symmetrical. And uh, what are we on here? We're on 41, 42, 43. Let's go up to 50, like I said, and we'll call it there. 46, four, oh no, 45, 8, 9, and 50. Yeah, okay. Back home we go. We've, we've done what we've needed to do. We've completed this quest by getting here. So let's make our way back to base level and see what other things we can do back at home. Well, that's cool. So far today, we have moved the mob farm. We have found an indoor grassy biome. Uh, we've made our way to the end. We've made a full set of um, quartz armor, black quartz armor. We are stylish, fashionable, furnished with foliage, and we have we have a become a frequent flyer 
to the dimension known as the end. I couldn't think of anything beginning with F then, but um, anyway, that's, that's our accomplishment so far today. Uh, burning it all the way back down again. Um, absolutely booking it down these stairs. Spinning around. I know some of you might have been thinking, just, oh, you should have just gone straight up. Straight up. Ladder. Easy peasy. Done. Dusted. Super fast. But uh, hey ho, we're in it now. Uh, so, um, let's have a quick look around here. It's been a while since I've checked out my little animal sanctuary. So, there we go. That's, a, that's almost a full set of grown wheat now. Remember when that farm was just one single, one single set of seeds growing? We've now been able to maximize this to a 9x9 nine nine grid, which is fantastic. Um, wheat is no longer a problem for us which means that we'll be able to feed our little birdies. We've got plenty of wheat to turn into other things. You saw last episode when I was making um, chicken chicken houses and, and, and nesting pens and things like that, where wheat was one of the base components for it. We've got carrots growing. Um, we're able to make golden carrots. You know, we, we're getting seeds back. This is great. This is great. When we move on in a little bit to a different, um, you know, maybe we'll start mass producing carrots for a little bit and, and whatever else we can get our hands on as we get the seeds for it cool okay so let's finish up this quest then for the end but not really um we've got one unclaimed reward here so uh, let's click that and see what we get drum roll Bruh. another set of climbing gloves excellent don't need them but excellent so that definitely is going to get a bruh from me make a chicken stick is the next quest let's see if we can do that so what we need to do is we need to get a chicken hit it with a stick and look at this thing it has now become possessed by some evil trance hell-bent on destroying its creator um all i did was hit it with a stick and and look at it go and it's pretty tough it's got a lot of health and the stick is not doing much damage to it. I wonder how much longer I need to be beating it with a stick for. Um, but he's certainly aggroed. Let's see if we can get out here and hide out because he's totally going to take us down. Even though we're wearing full set of armor as well. He's going out with us. Oh god, this is an absolute nightmare. What's wrong? Oh, and he's still in here with us. Okay, we've got no weapons. We've got nothing to fight with. Let's try and lure him back in and see if we can get back out again. No, you can't jump over fences. You know that Star 17. What is going on? We've died a second time. Okay, we're on this side of the fence now. Let's close it down so he can't get us. Let's get our gear back. And let's be smart about this, people. Let's not let a chicken outfox us. We are the gamer. We have a full set of armor. We've got weapons. Maybe I don't need to be using this stick anymore. I don't know. But we need to destroy this chicken now. He is nothing but a menace. A white menace to us. Um, let's just eat this a second. And slap him with the stick a bit more. Yeah, his health is not... He's got a lot of health. It's not going down much at all. Now he's hanging about over there. Come back and let me smack you again. Our pet rock is ob oblivious to everything that's going on. Ambivalent to the fighting that's going on around him. Not a very good guard pet. Oh, I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, you know, when there's angry chickens around, I could do with a little bit of help from my friend, the pet rock. But he's done nothing to help me here. He's just watching the madness unfold. Um, I've had enough of hitting with the stick. If this doesn't finish the quest, I'll have to do some research and figure out what's going on. But uh, come on, chicken. Have some sword in your face. Three hits. And that's quest completed. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Wow. So we've got ourselves a chicken stick, everybody. A stick of chicken or a chicken stick okay well that's another quest done anyway next quest is to kill the mighty ender chicken that sounds like a lot of fun but let's see what we get for this one a silk touch chance pendant I like the sound of that 
Um, silk touch chance pendant means that if we're holding it, everything we do kind of acts as silk touch. So um, let's see what this chicken looks like. Very cool. We're going to need this to kill this ender chicken, uh, which we will plan for a future episode. Stick it up here for now so we can look upon it. And we'll put our net just up here. Now that we've finished using that. Oh boy, that was a lot of fun. All right, and as is customary for every video, we add another entrant onto the Wowzer wall. So let's place down our stone block. And upon its face, we put down a sign, a wooden sign. So this week we are tipping our hat to a young chap called Dobre the Vampire. Now I can't fit that in in um, normal English. So let's slide it in zero spaces. Dobre the Vampire. Dobre has um, his own YouTube channel, um, makes YouTube videos and um, has just recently kind of pushed out his own Discord. Um, but I met Dobre in another Discord. Anyway, that's the end of today's episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Um, we will see you again in the future for another episode of Stone Block. Take care, everybody. Look after yourselves and stay safe. Love you. Bye.